Hello Abacus users, what's up? In this video, we're going to define and explain the step, increment, attempt, iteration, and frame. Many Abacus users might not know the difference between them or mix them up. So let's walk you through it. Just sit back and enjoy the learning. First, let's talk about the step. What is a step in the Abacus anyway? The step is the analysis procedure you specify to solve the problem. It can be one or more. For example, look at this forming process. It has three steps. In the first step, the blank holder, die and workpiece is in place and the punch goes down to apply the pressure. In the second step, the forming process is in progress. And in the final step, the tool will be removed, allowing the workpiece to spring back into its final shape. Imagine this is the timeline of the forming process. This is the starting point. The process begins and the first step is done. In time, the second step is passed. And after that, the final step and the process is finished. Now let's talk about increment and increment size. Each step can be broken into smaller parts, which are called increments. Like here, the first step is divided into 6 increments. The second step is divided into 11 increments and the final step into 5 increments. The number of increments can be variable in each step which can be specified by ourselves or automatically. This will help the software to solve the problem much faster, smoother and easier. Another definition for an increment is the part of the total load that is applied gradually. The distance between every two increments would be called the increment size. The increment size can be variable between every two increments. Like in the figure, the increment size between increments number 4 and 5 is more than the one between increments number 7 and 8. Just like the number of increments, the increment size can be set manually or automatically. For more information, check the article in the description below. I hope I haven't bored you. If you liked the video so far, don't forget to like it. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, well, you know what to do. This is a small part of the Abacus for Beginners Training Package. There is a lot more valuable information in other parts of this package that you can get on our website. We suggest you do your project by saving your time and getting basic in training so that you don't get tired of Abacus errors. You know, we keep moving deeper after every definition. I mean, step is the general categorization of problem at hand. Increment is one step deeper and is a subset of a step. All of these terms are applicable both in explicit and implicit methods. Now let's see what attempt and iteration mean in Abacus. These two terms are meaningful just when we use an implicit solver, Abacus standard. In the implicit solver, we seek the equi equilibrium after every increment by checking the difference between externally applied forces and internal reaction forces. Abacus uses a tolerance value or a value close to zero defined in its solver settings. Till the difference between the forces come under this tolerance value, the solver carries several tries, which are called iterations. As for the attempt, every increment size selection in Abacus is called an attempt. Let's see it in an example to better understand it. Suppose we are in the first increment. The increment size equals 110 to minus 2 and it's for the first attempt. 
Now the abacus starts to solve it, and after three iterations, the increment is solved. Moving to the second increment, the increment size would be 1, 10 to the minus 2 seconds for the first attempt. The solver starts to solve it. But after 16 iterations, the increment cannot be solved. So Abacus has to make a cut back in the increment size for the next attempt. The new increment size will be less than before. It equals 110 to the minus 5 for the second attempt. This time, after 4 iterations, the increment is solved. Let's summary the things we said. The Abacus standard carries out iterations within an increment to attain equilibrium. If Abacus cannot find a solution with the selected increment size after iterating several times, it makes a cutback in the increment size and begins a new attempt. This picture is the monitor window of a standard analysis. The increment size of increment 13 is almost 3.5 to minus 10 seconds. But the software couldn't solve this increment with this increment size. Therefore, Abacus has selected a smaller increment size of 1, 10 to minus 5. You can see that the increment is now solved successfully in the new attempt. Now, if you look at the job diagnostic window of a standard problem, you can see that we have the step first. Then increment. After the increment, there is the attempt. And each attempt will have several iterations. Now that you have learned all this, let's see them in an example in the abacus and explain the last term, the frame. Here we have the results of the forming process we talked about. The simulation was done by the explicit solver. The increments at which you select results to be written to the output database file are called frames. If you open the step frame window, you'll see we have 20 frames in this analysis. Frame number one contains the results of increment number 2157. Double click on it. You can see the results of this frame in the viewport. Frame 8 contains the results of increment 18393. Double click on it. Now you are seeing the results of this frame. Therefore, the animation you see consists of 20 frames. Now let's see the job diagnostics of this explicit analysis. See, there are no attempts and iterations in an explicit analysis. And the number of increments here is 20. Well, that's it. I hope you have learned what you were looking for. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel.